Welcome to this Football Brisbane Media feature game presentation. I'm Darren Lutton. It's Cup Final Day and we're at the Walton Bridge Reserve for the clash between Mitchelton FC and Capalabar. Mitchelton have already won a trophy today. Their women's just took out the Elaine Watson Cup 3-1. They're taking on a club in Capalabar who won this competition five years ago. Let's head straight to the action. Calling the game is Rafe Griffin. Thanks very much, Darren. Mitchelton going through their last minute preparations with assistant coach Ray Wood looking on. And there's the Capella Bar Brains Trust looking at the Bulldogs prior to the start of this Canali Cup final. Well, good vibes for Mitchelton, perhaps with their women just wrapping up the Elaine Watson Cup. They've made the short journey over from Terrelba Park. Can that provide some positive signs for some second silverware on the day? Here come the two teams. On to the park. Mitchelton will be in their change white strip today with Capella Bar in the yellow. Nathan McDonald has the whistle for this one, assisted by John Vasiliadis and Isidro Terol Crespo. So it'll be Capella Bar with first possession of this match. On there for Thompson. Defensive work coming in from Willoughby. Fellows keeps it alive here for Capella Bar. Referee playing advantage. He pulls it back for the earlier foul. So Thompson here for the Bulldogs. Puts one in towards the back post. Still alive here for Capella Bar. Sharp save by Downs at the near post. And Mitchelton hoof it downfield away from danger. So second look at it. On the replay, almost squeezed in there between Downs and the post. Dunn plays it on there for Fields. Now Coulson. Gets it back once more. Lost one forward here for Capella Bar. Thompson is lurking, but it's Sam Fellows who gives the Bulldogs the opening goal of the afternoon. Well, they've bought a vocal bunch of supporters over from John Fredericks Park. And they've got reason to cheer here. Sam Fellows puts Capella Bar on the board. Thompson with the turn against Willoughby. Quick ball movement here. Azawi. Tries to buy himself some time on the ball. Azawi goes himself. Didn't get the curl that he was looking for, though. Cleared away there by Wemis. Up front again is Fellows. Cut back for Azawi. Touch on again for Fellows. Gets his cross in. Just a little bit controlled. Lunging in there. Was it Thompson? Right, goes back to Downs. He was under some pressure there. Manages to get it away. Clebo heads on for McVeigh. McVeigh over the crossbar. Mitchell. And he earned himself the free kick. Just outside the box here for the Mustangs. Free kick taken, deflects off the Capella Bar wall. And Chandler taken out unfairly there. There's a discussion there that Tim Dunn's buying himself into. Let's take a second look at that. Yeah, in the end, not too many eyes for the football. And Chandler. Just holding his back, but back to his feet. So Capella Bar with a 1-0 lead as we head into second half action. And once again, there's been a late free kick here. Right in front of the Mitchelton bench. Just being collected there on the foot. And Nathan McDonald was quick to spot it. And Mitchelton will get a corner. 
Stubbins. Straight into the path there of the Mitchelton player in McVeigh. He's got plenty of yellow shirts coming to confront him. Slides across low along the ground. No white shirts there to take advantage. Klebo. Angles infield. And Sarasol just ruse that ball that was attempted to be played in his direction. Chandler. Rolls it along the ground here. Again, they come under pressure. Here's McVeigh. And they've made Capellabar pay full toll for that poor defensive clearance. The women's team there, after their victory, celebrating that first goal for the men's side this afternoon. Capellabar. Guilty of uh, not being able to clear effectively. Might have even taken a touch off that Capella Bar defender. And Mitchelton, indeed it did, off Roby. And that sent Chandler the wrong way. And Mitchelton back on level terms on the hour. Straight back on. Poor touch there by Stubbins. And brought down was Bernardi gave away the free kick there against Fellows who was zeroing in on goal. Now there's a bit of afters. Nick Bernardi's copped his medicine. He knew what was in, going on. Emotions running high and they think McDonald just in there to keep on top of it. So he's away to the races here was Sam Fellows. And Nick Bernardi... An obvious goal scoring opportunity there. Gives away the free kick and also leaves his men, his side, with 10 men for the remaining 20 minutes or so. Thompson's free kick. And in the corner, Mitchellman have come away with it. McVeigh runs out of room on that far sideline. Coulson. There for Fields. Fields tries to get into the box and now leaves it for Azawi. Azawi off the left peg and a great save there by Kevin Downs. He's managed to keep the leading scorer in the flight centre Premier League out and from Capalabar regaining the lead again. Corner variation there and Downs just had to be sure of it there at the end. Looked like it might have just been dipping in here under the bar at the last moment. Downs just making sure. So another corner here to Capella Bar as Mitchelton continue to remain on red alert here. So under 10 minutes to play. Mitchelton down to 10. And now they launch an attack here through Sarasol. And a great individual effort there from Gab Sarasol. And against all odds, Mitchelton have taken the lead for the first time in this match. Well, Sarasol, he gets it inside his own half. Basically allowed to just run straight through the middle of the park and a composed finish at the end of it. And you can see the Capalabar defenders just left to wonder what happened there. Mitchelton in the box seat now as Mitchell evades that challenge and from outside the box sends it wide. Into stoppage time now. Capella Bar perhaps with one final chance to send this match into extra time. They'll need to get moving quickly. Downs, Shaw, hands there at the penalty spot. Just playing it down to the corner will be Mitchelton's best bet here at the moment. They might have given Capella Bar 
the Hail Mary here. Smith oh, just goes over the foot there of his teammate. And Mitchelton are the 2016 Canali Cup champions. Completing a great day for the Mustangs, winning the Elaine Watson Cup as well. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you to, to the Gap for having us today. Always a good game against Mitchie with what, one apiece and a draw, so thanks for that, lads. Um, to the Doggies, thanks for the year, boys. It's been a pleasure, and to all the support that came out for us tonight. No doubt, see a lot of you next year as well. Cheers. All right, congratulations to Cabalabar. Great effort today. They were bettered by the team that hadn't won a trophy for 98 years. And in the space of two weeks, they win three. Let's call up the team, Mitchelton FC! <laughs> and being presented the Canali Cup by Guido Canali. Let the celebrations begin. Commiserations today, Jeff. What were your thoughts on the game? Uh, I thought we uh, we did quite well in the in the first half and, and really controlled the game. Um, got sucked into their long ball or direct ball a, a little bit in the first half, but you know, we controlled the game fairly well in the first 45 and got pleased going in at half time one nil up. Um, you know, we just pretty much stated what we, we said at the start at, at half time and, and made sure or enforced that we, we come out in the second half because the job wasn't done and. You know, credit to, to Mitchelton, they, they come out in the second half and, and pressed us and, um, you know, we, we made some errors and, and they capitalised on those errors. So, and, you know, that's football at the end of the day and, um, you know, we'll learn from that. They're, they're a bunch of uh, young lads and um, uh, hopefully we can learn and, and move on from, from tonight. Do you think the, the red card galvanised them at all? Uh, it's always hard when oppositions get red cards because they lift and, and you think that you can start to, to push and press a little bit more and uh, we lost a little bit of structure that way and, and uh, well, as I said, to their credit, they, they battled on and, and, and got the, uh, the girl to, to win it, so good on them. Despite the loss, which must be hurting at the moment, in the next week and month, you must feel pretty proud of your efforts this year. Oh, without a doubt, it, it, it really hurts at the moment, considering where we were in the game and, and the first half. But uh, if we look at it as an overall thing, uh, without a doubt, you know, a lot of people wrote us off at the start of the year with a, a very young squad that we had and you know, said that we we're going to finish either 11th or, or, or 10th and, and really struggle throughout the year. And you know, credit to these boys, they, they got on it and you know, they believed in what we actually put on. And, you know, they played some very good football uh, throughout the year and yeah, we're extremely pleased as a club of, of where these boys sit and you know, we keep them together going the next couple of years and they'll be a top four side easily. So yeah, very happy and, and very pleased with the, the overall performance for the, for the season. Um, yes, it hurts at the moment, but as I said, they're young. We'll, we'll learn from this and we'll, we'll push on, definitely, without a doubt. Gentlemen, congratulations, 2016 Canali Cup champions. How does it feel? Oh, mate, fantastic. Uh, if you look where we started at the beginning of the year and, uh, you know, uh, personnel, new players, totally new team, uh, there's a lot of talk we weren't, you know, up for a top four spot or we weren't going to be competitive, uh, but, uh, you know, we've got a silverware now, that'll go and do the cabinet, we'll celebrate tonight, uh, but there's one more we want to get, so, but, uh, yeah, no, excited to have it. Now that must have been some half-time speech because you would definitely the lesser of the two teams in the first half because you you know you really turned it around yeah mate the first half we were terrible um, but we've been known as a one half team uh, but Capalaba deserved their one nil win uh, one nil lead at half time uh, we were second to everything we sat too deep we let them play 
uh, you know, there was no heart. Uh, this team, what they've done over the last two weeks, that wasn't nothing in the first half. It was disappointing. Uh, I told the boys, we were, you know, to be embarrassed. I was embarrassed at half time walking in. But this team's special too because uh, they can come out and go from a performance at halftime that wasn't acceptable to coming out and I thought we fully deserved the second half, even going down to 10 men. Yeah, despite the losing a player, again, great character from your side. I'll let Josh answer one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, we, we have certain standards that we set for ourselves and, you know, our, our character is one of them and we, we showed that in the second half. So... Um, like you said, in the in the first half we weren't we weren't on the game and we weren't in the game. And you know, second half we came out and we showed not only character but we showed that we can play football as well. And that's two ticks in each box. So on to next week and um, you know, hopefully two halves instead of one. Well, it's been an amazing week for the for the club. The, the women's have won two trophies in two weeks, and you've added the Canali Cup to the trophy room, and that's the the third senior trophy in the 98 years that the club's been going. So. Great times at Mitchelton FC. Thanks a lot. Yeah, uh, we'll enjoy it tonight. Thanks, Football Brisbane. Uh, thanks, Guido Canali, for sponsoring the tournament. Uh, like I said, we'll celebrate long and hard tonight, but then obviously Tuesday, we'll have minds on the job to go back, uh, hopefully, and get another bit of silverware in the next three weeks. So, Congratulations. Thanks, mate.